absolutely win it all. Might might make you play a little tight. I know that's what it was for us in the two games at home. The first periods at home were uh, not the way we wanted to play. And uh, I guess it's happening to everybody. Keith, how, how important was Rowley's first 15 minutes, first period, so you just kind of found your footing a little bit? Well, Rowley's, Stamkos, Gagne's, I mean, uh, you know, Rowley, uh, Rowley played a good game, but we needed we needed a few guys to step up, the guys that uh, hadn't stepped up to the, their full potential. And uh, Rolly was uh, one of those guys, and uh, Gagne was another one, and Stamkos was another one. And I'm really happy for Stamkos because the last game, um, I thought he played a great game. It just didn't pay off for him, and, uh, and today it's paying off. So, like I always say, take care of the process, the result will come. And he was a major warrior last game and this game. And, I think this kid's figured out what the playoffs are all about. I, I knew at some point, because he's got character, I was just hoping it was this year. <laughs> Coach, the uh, thing was talking a lot about early in the playoffs back here, Coach. Oh, right? Sorry about that. No problem. They talked about keeping your players out of the crease, out of uh, Mark Andre's way, the net front presence. Were you guys able to get to the net better tonight than the rest of the series? Because it seemed like every goal, it was right in front. Uh, you know what, I think it might have been similar in the other games, but the difference is tonight we shot. We shot in some instances that the last games we didn't. You know, we were waiting for a better play all the time. And uh, we got back to our identity, and uh, with the shots on net come rebounds, and with the rebounds, if you've got the guys around the net, well, it can certainly pay off. And, um, and, and it did. But, uh, you know, we're a team that drives the net a lot, so we didn't change anything. Uh, it just, we made sure that the shots were there, because we had since the beginning of this series, whether we've won the game or not, uh, I got tons and tons of clubs of guys waiting at the net for a shot, and it's not coming. And uh, that's that was making me a little uh, uh, a little mad the last uh, the last two games. And um, you know, if you score or you don't score, this is the idea is still take care of the process. Coach um, Steve Samko said he's felt better every game in the series, and obviously there were some pretty good results tonight. Can you just talk about the, his development and, and his breakout game tonight? Well, to me, his breakout game was last game. It wasn't tonight. His breakout tonight is, is the result of the goals, but the last game to me was when he figured it out. Uh, when he's a youngster, he had a lot of pressure on his shoulders, having to deal with, with the only real uh, slump that he's had at this level, and. Um, He's, uh, he's battled extremely hard. He's such an unselfish uh, player and individual that uh, I really, really liked his attitude in, uh, in, in the last part of the season. You know, even though he was having a hard time scoring, he was still battling with the players, focusing on the small details and, and sticking with it. I think that uh, the fact that he scored goals today is just a result of him going to the net a lot more often instead of trying to wait for an outside shot. And uh, he knew that it was just for him trying to be consistent at it and did a great job. But, you know, he was great defensively. Uh, he had poise with the puck. Uh, he, he played hard on the boards. And uh, and I could put him out there at any moment to take a face off. And so that's what we're going to ask of, of him now and in the future. Uh, but, you know, you can, you can, uh, you, know, you got a flower, you want it to grow. If you pull on it, it ain't got to grow faster. It takes time and experience. And I think the games that, uh, the games that we've played up to now since the beginning of the series are all experienced that not just him, but a lot of our guys didn't have initially learning and maturing. And I said, to beat, to beat Pittsburgh, which has more experience than us, we have to learn real fast. And uh, we're learning. A two-part question. Uh, first, what does it mean to the team to get Steven on the scoreboard in terms of his confidence and the team's confidence in him? And the second part is, we've seen so many comebacks in this playoff series from large deficits, but in this series, first goal wins. Is, is there a difference in this series why that's been? Yeah, you know what? I always say it. Uh, it's about desperation every game. So to me, the clock goes back to zero. Like I'm already thinking of the next game now, and whether we score the first goal or not, it can't change our game. And I think with our team, when we scored the first goal, it made us breathe a little bit more, made us more, more poised with the puck, and and uh, that's the effect. But right now we're searching for uh, you know them scoring a the first goal and keeping the same poise. That's that's what we gotta learn as a team in these playoffs. So whether we 
we score the first goal next game or we don't, our attitude and our way of playing can't change. And, and over the course of these games, it has, and it's been the subject of our conversations, whether it's in the third period, first period, or second period, uh, events can change the way we play our game. And, uh, and that's the mark of mature teams. And we want to be a mature team for the next game. And Stamkos' impact on the team to, to, be, to get to get Steven on the board. Just what it means for the team. Uh, it, it means a lot, but it means a lot today. It, next game, it's it's back to zero, and, and uh, it's going to be a dogfight again. You might get a shot on both sides, and we have to go to double overtime. So uh, we got to we got to reload real quick, and that's what we done in the room right now. Where there's no smiles, no nothing. Last time we came here. Uh, we felt it. We made the mistake of a young, a young group of, uh, of individuals who don't really know how to manage the playoffs yet, of, of thinking or being happy to win the game. And right now we're not happy to win the game. We just want to move on and, and get ready for the next game. And uh, just change our attitude and hopefully it'll change the result.